Hey everyone, I'm Zach Detmore with Detmore Home Improvements and today I wanted to talk about how to determine whether you're going to be using froth pack sealant or froth pack insulation. And they're two great products, but it's important to know the difference between the two of them because they look very similar when they're sitting on the shelf. And before we get into these products specifically, I think it's important to understand the difference between air sealing a house or draft stopping it and insulating a house. So air sealing is basically trying to create a membrane that surrounds the whole envelope of a house to keep drafts from coming in. A lot of times when you're feeling uncomfortable in a house, it's because the house has this stack effect, right? And air is being drawn in through all these cracks in the basement and in where your outlet penetrations are and it's getting, the, the heat is moving up through the house, out of the roof, and those drafts are making you feel uh, uncomfortable, not necessarily the lack of insulation because you can have a very well insulated wall, but if cold air is able to channel its way around that insulation, then it's not really important and not doing its job properly. So um, air sealing and insulation are both important when building a comfortable home, but it's important to know the difference between the two and not confuse them. So insulation is basically material that stops heat transfer through a wall. So in a perfect scenario, um, and there's no draft, then the insulation can perform properly. But in certain situations, you may have adequate insulation already. For example, if you had the rim joist of a house sprayed with spray foam, but then trade partners came through and drilled a bunch of holes um, and penetrations and you were just trying to reseal those, you may want to use a product that's a sealant versus the insulation because you already have that R value in the wall. So basically, froth pack sealant is used for gaps and crevices. You'll typically see yourself just picture framing a stud cavity or spraying over a gap and skip sheathing, for example. Um, whereas this product, you're actually going to fill the whole bay with probably at least two inches of material and that's gonna be your insulation. So here's how I determine which of these products I'm going to use for any given job. If I'm working in a very old house, which primarily has bat insulation, and I'm trying to inhibit the movement of air, then I'm going to go with the Froth Pack 200 sealant. That product is basically going to act as a membrane to detail specific areas that would be difficult to detail with a bat insulation or something similar. If I have those same air sealing requirements, but I also need the added benefit of insulation, perhaps I'm working in an area where it's hard to insulate with another product like a bat or blown in, or there has already been spray foam on the job, but I need to touch some up and I don't want to bring out a spray rig or machine uh, or company to do that, then I would use the Froth Pack 210, which is both insulation and air sealing combined. So they're two very versatile products, but it's important to understand the difference of the two in the application. One of my favorite things to do with this is before the house is insulated, detail around outlets, detail around penetrations where lights are, or wires are going outside. Um, being able to do that with this product is great but I know I'm gonna come back and probably insulate the whole house with either spray foam or uh, blown in insulation. And I don't really need the R value of this. I just need the air sealing benefits. So that's typically how I use this product. This product, I typically break out when I have a small air sealing detail and that also requires an R value. So if there's a area that's hard to get to, that needs to be insulated so we can continue the workflow and it doesn't make sense to bring in a professional spray foam company, then I will use these or several of these to get that job done. So now hopefully you understand the difference between the froth pack sealant and the froth pack insulation, the 200 versus the 210. Both great products. If you know how to use them, you'll be able to make a much more efficient and comfortable home for yourself and your clients.